If you have started your electrolysis journey, you shouldn't use any other form of hair removal between your sessions. This is where you're removing the hair from the root. So you shouldn't tweeze the hair, you shouldn't thread, or you shouldn't wax in between your sessions because this will affect your results. You are allowed to trim the hair with scissors or shave depending on the type of hair in the area. I've got a separate video explaining this in detail. I'll put it in the eye at the top. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you why it's very important not to tweeze, thread, or wax between your electrolysis sessions or even after you've achieved your results. So let's just say you've achieved your results, you've got it, your, the hair is permanently removed, but you might have some fine hair in the area or maybe you've got a hormonal imbalance like me and you have to maintain the results and instead of having a maintenance touch-up session you thought let me just wax or tweeze or thread I'm gonna explain why you shouldn't do that and you should just stick to electrolysis alone I'm gonna show you some pictures of my own chin neck area which is the area that I get electrolysis done I'm gonna show you a series of pictures so that you can see what's going on. The top picture where it says 2017, this is after I tried laser and it made it worse and this picture was taken before I started my electrolysis journey properly, where I stuck to it. The picture where it says 2019, this was where you can see that a lot of hair has reduced but there are still some thicker hairs in the area. In the picture where it says 2020, that is where I've got my result. Amazing results, but with my situation, because I've got polycystic ovary syndrome, I get new hair that grows through every three to four months, and that's when I have a touch-up, like a maintenance session. Five to 10 minutes is enough just to get rid of any new hairs that may have popped through. But even when hairs do poke through, they are not as thick and dark as the pictures in 2017 and 2019. July 2021, so this was five months ago, I got married. Before my wedding, I didn't make the time to get my touch-up electrolysis session. Instead, I thought, oh, I'll just tweeze it and it'll be fine. So I tweezed the hairs, I normally like if I can't, if I don't have time to book in my touch-up session every four months, I trim the hair, the hairs that are more visible with scissors. And then I get it treated with electrolysis and my results don't change. It doesn't make the hair thicker and it doesn't make it worse. It doesn't reverse what electrolysis does. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I thought I'm just gonna do it. Doing it once or twice should be fine. So I did it once before my wedding. I tweezed the hairs. I didn't want any hairs showing in my wedding pictures and then for my honeymoon i went away in august so that was a month after there were like a few more hairs and when you're on a beach holiday and you're in the sun hair is a little bit more visible so i tweezed a few more hairs again i'm now going to show you a picture of what happened to the hair how tweezing the hair even after you've got your results it can reverse the effects of electrolysis. This was in September. It looks very similar to what the hair used to look like in 2019 when you compare the pictures. So I've literally, just by tweezing the hairs twice and not getting my maintenance session, my hair has gone back a few steps. Um, yeah, my body is very weird you might not get this much of a dramatic response. Your hairs might not be stimulated as quickly as mine. If you carry on tweezing, eventually you are going to reverse the effects of electrolysis. And if you do this between your sessions, because there are some people who do some electrolysis, a bit of threading, and they go back and forth between electrolysis and threading thinking that the hair is gonna reduce, but unfortunately it doesn't. Since that picture, I've had two more sessions of electrolysis and I've already seen the hair go back, you know, to how it was before, which is the picture in 2020. So it's not the end of the world, but I did make a bad mistake. 
I hope that this video has made you understand the importance of sticking to electrolysis alone. I've got a lot more electrolysis videos coming out soon. I'm slowly working through my to-do list of videos that I need to film. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.